what's going on everybody in this video i'm going to be replacing this screen protector from super shields i got this off amazon it is a good screen protector but it is not tempered glass so i'm going to be replacing it with tempered glass as you can see it did its job and protected it for a while i think i've had this on my phone for a year or so but as you can see there's scratches and bubbles so I'm replacing it with this tempered glass screen protector and I'm hoping this will do a better, more long-term job at it. So let's get into it. So here's the case from the tempered glass screen protector. Um, I already opened it so I took all this stuff out. Um, here's the back of it. I'm not sure why I'm actually showing that, but whatever. So here is the installation guide, kind of, I mean it's pretty simple, all you got to do is clean the surface before you put on the screen protector, but I mean you can get complicated with it or you can just clean the surface and put the new one on. Uh, comes with two cleaning wipes, one wet and one dry, which is actually pretty useful. And here is the dust absorber which is actually very handy and these little stickers um, to actually stick on the glass so you don't get your own fingerprints on there these I did actually not use because I did not see a use for them So this part's pretty simple, um, just taking my fingernail and pulling up the old screen protector. It takes a little bit of work, but once you get it off, it is pretty simple, it just pops off. All right, so what I'm doing now is taking the wet wipe and I'm just gonna mop up everything that may be left over from the old screen protector. I just wanna get everything off of there that could possibly be left over. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is get the drying wipe and what I'm trying to do here is just wipe up all the wet residue that was left over and leave a very, very clean and dry surface for the uh, tempered glass protector to stick to. All right, so now I use the dry wipe. Um, there could be a little bit of dust that got left on the glass. So any dust that's left over will cause bubbles. So that's what the, the tape is for or whatever this is called, the dust absorber or whatever. Um, so you just wanna go over this and pick up every last remaining bit of dust. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but I could see a lot of big particles that fell on it or were left over from the wipe. So just being very meticulous about this and getting the surface perfectly clean. You want it as clean as possible because you don't want any particles to be stuck to the phone screen or when you lay the screen protector down to get stuck on that. So here's the screen protector and all I'm going to do is open it from the packaging that it came in and remove the sticker it, it obviously says peel before um, applying it to the phone so um, I'm just gonna peel that off real quick 
and then it takes a little bit of work to actually lay it perfectly on the screen and that is the good thing about this bumper case that I have on my phone and I'm actually just going to pick up some more of the dust just to be perfect about it. I don't want to do any more work later than I have to so this is actually saving me time. And as you can see my beautiful face. All right, so right now I realize I screwed up. It is not applied straight and it's already um, beginning the adhesion process and I'm not happy with it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take it back off, which this is not a permanent thing. You can take it back off and reapply it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it off and try to get it straight the uh, next time I put it on. So there we go. I got it. Not 100%, but it's a lot better than the last time, and I'm really happy with it. Placement is good. Um, as you can see, there's an air bubble in the middle of it right there and on the side. So all you need to do, I just got a little card, I think, that came with it. I'm just pressing out all the air. And if you did your prep work right, all of this should be pretty simple. All the air bubbles should come out. Um, just like anything else, the prep work is what matters the most. As you can see, I'm pressing all the air out. And it's really not that difficult. Um, if there is air bubbles or anything did not happen right and the screen looks effed up, um, you need to go back and do the prep work again. And all I'm doing now is wiping off the screen just to get the clarity so I can take some after pictures and show um, that the screen went on really well. All right, so as you can see, this screen protector went on very, very good. Um, there's no air bubbles, no air pockets, no scratches, nothing like that. Everything went really good. But the only thing I'm not really happy with is the sides of the screen don't stick to the surface that well. As you can see on the right and the left side, there's a little bit of these air pockets just because I think the glass is a little too wide for this phone. But that's known for this style of phone. So it overall, it, it went on perfectly. I'm really happy with it. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, I made this video to help anybody that may be in the process of changing their screen protector. Um, let me know in the comments.